James is like my husband Robert. Kind at heart, but I wish he would apply himself. She's so judgy. Did I tell you that Sharon and James split up for three years Yes. Once? Will spent the time in America with her family. Oh, she's one of those it was ladies. hard for me not seeing him. He was ten, and like most boys, he wasn't interested in writing many letters. That's why you call him on the phone. Nobody writes letters anymore, Grandma. Well, calling him on the phone would be really expensive back then. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, you know, just for like five minutes. It's still really expensive for back then. Yeah. I was very worried about seeing Will. I wanted him to understand that when we disagreed, I didn't mean anything against him personally. Oh no, she did say horrible things. Safe. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Yeah. I was like, you listen to her side of the event, she's in, she's like, I just, I just said that I didn't mean anything against him personally. But if you hear it from his side of you, it's gonna be like the worst shit. Yeah. Oh god. I'm pretty sure that she's like she's like glossing over things in her own mind so that she can live with herself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or maybe she doesn't even know. A lot. I feel like a lot of people don't. It's like they don't even realize how horrible they're being because they don't like they're not. They can't see outside their own worldview. You know. My parents just stop talking now. Mm hmm. Will was growing up to be such a fine man. Can you imagine how stressful this dinner is? Mm. Can't even. <sighs> he doted on Sarah. <laughs> I wonder what actually happened. Well, because I feel like she's seeing a, a, another reality. Yeah. Well, I'm saying they might be just good friends, you know? I mean, hold on. So, I told you that, like, when I was in high school, my first girlfriend, her parents thought we were best friends. Wait, you guys weren't best friends? Yeah. I had no idea. No, but I'm saying, like, her parents were just like, oh my god, they have sleepovers all the time, and they hang out, and they're just, like, such good friends. Did you ever see that BuzzFeed feed video that made me think of you and then I stopped watching because they started having sex and I didn't know and then I was thinking <laughs> you about know you. How to feel. No, because I was like, oh this is like Stacy and then they started fucking. I was like, oh God. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Weird feelings. <laughs> it's like that one time in um Frozen where these two characters looked exactly like my cousins who are siblings and I was like, oh oh God. What's going on? <laughs> I felt so proud of Will. But anyway, yeah, and then... And then oh, yeah. How, and how were you... And then they caught us in bed together, and they finally figured out that we weren't just best friends. You guys were just wrestling, Stacey. We were just wrestling. Just and, wrestling. And that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe she's looking at this and being like, oh, they're, like, dating or whatever, but they're really just good friends. I don't know. He's just, he's just, she's just a girl that he invites over to please Grandma. Yeah, it's He was possible. becoming the man I had hoped he would be. Oh, Grandma, please! Stop! With Sarah, I hoped he would be on track to a normal life. <laughs> what are you talking about, Grandma? <sighs> Shut up, Grandma. He's in college. He's gonna graduate. What else do you want? But that was the last time I saw her. Thank God. Yeah. And look at you. Now you're alone. What, are we, is she looking at something on the floor? What? No, she just dug her oh, own man, grave. Oh, man, they have these, like, they have these, like, extended end sequences. I always think they were supposed to be doing something. The next summer, I went to visit Will at university. Oh, gosh. Would you ever invite your grandma to visit you at college? No. No, 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 no. I'm thinking about this game and I'm I'm wondering if I like appreciate seeing this through the grandma's eyes or who is this for? 
Like, who is this written for to make people understand? Maybe it's... I do. I You okay. know what? Seeing it through her eyes and then also thinking, like, that's probably not what you said and making these realizations where she's like... I guess it's interesting, but it, this wouldn't be enjoyable for a lot of people, I think. But I guess maybe that's not the point. I don't know. Well, okay, so something that Mari and I were actually talking about on our way over here, because we were talking about this game a little bit, was that sometimes it feels like games with gay themes. Or in movies or TV shows or anything. Media with yeah. gay characters in it is like written to explain gayness to straight people. Yeah. And so it covers a lot of like uh, homophobia and explanations that like if somebody is actually gay or has been around the community, they're like, duh, I know. You know? And there's not enough stories and stuff in the media overall where two gay people are like, I'm having fun because this is a fantasy escape. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, Modern Family has gay characters in it, and they don't, like... Yeah, no... I mean, they, no. They, they have a little bit of stuff in there, but it's, like, for the most part, they're just like, we're a happy gay couple with a kid. Yay! Yay! Because, you know, people are like, oh, they're pandering to gays. And I'm like, first of all, gays deserve to be pandered to. You're welcome. Shut up. Well, but then, like, who like, says that they don't deserve to be happy, to have depictions of happy characters? Tons says, of straight characters get to have happy endings all the time because it's literally everything. Just, you know, everybody yeah. wants to have their own little happy fantasy. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So. It's only civil to arrive on time for your appointments, so I started the drive down to see him with plenty of time to spare. Maybe the writer wanted people to understand what they went through or something. But where is she? Okay, sorry. The university had a lovely mix of old and new buildings. After arriving early, I went to look at them. There were so many young people there, all full of life and excited about the future. Lots of beautiful girls around, and I was hoping I might spot Sarah. Oh my god, can you imagine if, like... The one thing that I'm very resist resistant with, like, I know that you're saying that the one of the gay guys dies at the end. It's because I just don't want it to end with, like, gay guys being de dead at the end. I feel like if the person who wrote this was gay, they'd be, like, you know? Then why include the car accident? Because, I don't know, I just want him to, like, wake up in the hospital and be like, I took you for advantage, let's get married. I just, I know that it's, that's where it's going, but I don't want it to go there. I mean, I'm not... Uh, I, I don't, don't... I know that that's not what you want. You're just expecting the worst. Yeah, well, and I don't know for a fact that one of them is dead, but, like, I don't understand why you would include the car accident if one of them doesn't die. I, f I could feel it happening because the whole time he was like, I should appreciate life more. I'm going to ask him to marry me tonight. And, and it I would just, like, you know, it would, it would seem almost strange if they were like, oh, like, I should appreciate life more. Oh, I've had this crappy existence. And then at the end, they're like, like, I should have appreciated you more. We're both alive. Let's get married and now be happy. I don't know. It would seem like almost a, like a bizarre ending, but I don't know if that's just because I always expect the absolute worst. You know what? I'd be willing to accept it because it's just like, come on. University wasn't a normal option for people in my time, and I never went. A solid education helps to improve a person. Sounds like hypocrisy to me, grandma. Fucking grandma being like, well, that wasn't normal at my time. Well, grandma, things have changed. Wait, I'm how's that hypocrisy? I was pointing out that she keeps talking about how in her time, this was normal. This was normal. Oh, it was a joke. No, I think she it was... It was a joke. Uh... I noticed Will from a distance. I've always thought he stood out in a crowd. At first, I couldn't see what he was doing. Oh, boy. Then I saw that he was holding hands with a man. Spoiler alert! Grandma, he already told... You know, she's still in denial. And then they kissed right there, out in the open. 
want you to all just drink that in for a second because Grandma can suck, suck it. Suck it, Gra I was about to say <laughs> suck it, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> grandma can suck it. Suck it, Grandma. He went and did that after everything I had tried to teach him. I knew that all those liberal views would get him in trouble. Okay, so... <laughs> now Suck I'm just it. imagining the shit she said. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, lady. I left right away. Okay, bye. No one misses you. <laughs> we'll stay here. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. What was I supposed to say to him then? Will didn't see me. What was I supposed to do? Act like everything was going to be okay for him? I think this He was so young to be doing okay. that kind of thing, with his whole life ahead. I think this is the point where you kind of go like, okay. Grandma, we I, got I it. it. Grandma, we get it. Also, she's like, he's doing so young to be doing that type of thing. Like, what's in college? <laughs> what did, Grandma, are, do, when you turn, like, are you? It's starting to make me think, like, he should wait until he's my age. Like, and then I get my favorite bridge player to come over, and then she moves in with me. Like, yeah. You know? Suddenly, the university seemed ugly, obscene. All that sense of entitlement, but no appreciation. It was full of children, running around, abusing the freedom that my generation worked hard to earn for them. What are you talking about? We were about? also talking about this on the way over. Bitch, what did you do? Entitlement, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so entitled to what? Kissing each other? What are you talking about, lady? What did you do? Entitled to an education? I don't know. I wanted to be civil, but I was so angry with him. With them all. He was putting himself in danger. Mm, I'm not believing your shit anymore. I'm putting himself in danger, whatever. That sort of thing. It all just feels wrong to me. Mm, sorry, but me. that's just the way I feel about this. You're not sorry. Fuck off, Grandma. I don't care anymore. It's like with those things that like with old ladies say, I'm sorry, that's just the way I feel about this. It's like, carry on groceries then. Bye, lady. Yeah. I barely saw Will for the next few years. I couldn't bring myself to talk to him. Jerk. You know what? He didn't talk to you either, for a reason. I know. Clearly. As Stacy was saying earlier, it's okay to cut people out of your life who make you feel like shit. Even yeah. if they're your family. Absolutely. Like, if they're, like, super toxic, and you got your own job and your own place, you don't have to call them up. Yeah, I mean, if it was they, silly of me, I suppose. It was. If it they was. if they treat you like garbage, and you know they're just constantly bringing you down or talking shit about you, you know you're not obligated to try and be the bigger person. Sometimes you just have to walk away. I'm not saying be like a crap, like a huh. jerk to them, but like walking away is sometimes the best option. Sometimes when people are giving you shit and trying to make you feel bad for your decisions, it's not about you. It's about them. Like, they're using you as an outlet. Don't. After university, he went traveling, seeing the world. I stayed at my house. Mm. Oh, I think that that's kind of, like, symbolic of, you know, she stays in her own little world, mm -hmm. in her own little bubble, and he's, like, going out and learning about everything. I like the contrast of the sky to this kind of like not so colorful world yeah you know I feel like we get that grandma uh, doesn't like gay people yo I think we got it we got it we got it <laughs> it's hard not to live in the past sometimes when you have so much time to yourself I wish my husband Robert had had more of a chance to know Will. I don't know, was he nicer? Okay, so 
my criticism here is I like her story arc, but I feel like it could have been shortened a lot because it's starting to get a little bit like... It's like drag? Yeah. yeah. Also, I feel like everything in this game moves in slow motion. Okay, so I did hear some criticism from Laura, Kate Dale, and I'm starting to definitely hear Understand. it. Understand? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow, she really loves to complain. Not Laura, the grandma. Yeah. <laughs> I had such hopes for Will, and all the things that he would be when he was a man. She's saying the same things over and over again I know. now, so it's like... Maybe this is meant for gamers who don't click on everything. I don't know. I think you have to, though, to progress the story. I don't know if he knew how much I loved him when he was growing up. Okay, he obviously knew. Well, if you didn't chain him to a radiator and have him staring at a little palm tree in the house, And tell him maybe. he's not allowed to cry. He was such a happy, playful boy. And then he changed. <laughs> But life goes on. You're acting as if he's dead. Jesus Christ, Grandma. I'm over it. I was in the garden. Things do have a habit of getting overgrown if you leave them too long. Oh, and a slow motion stand from that chair. No, she's fucking... Is this all she thinks about? Like... I don't know, maybe she's dying. Bye, then. Okay, so whenever, like, old people say things that are, like, so horrible, I just remind myself that they're going to die like that, and then I feel better. <laughs> You're going to die miserable bitch, so. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Will would okay. occasionally send me a postcard from somewhere foreign on his travels. I'm gay, Grandma. I hope that he sent her pictures of him making oh out my with God. boys with, like, yes. the postcard. Yeah. He sends her just pictures of, it, like, like Snapchats of him, like, kissing boys in different countries. Yeah. Or, like, at, like, gay parties. Missing you at Rio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's at Carnival just, like, rubbing up on some oily dude. Like, hey, Grandma, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Bet you missed this. You know what? The, I think what's annoying me is that they're making being gay about grandma. That's what's bothering me. <laughs> mm-hmm. But what about grandma's feelings about you being gay? Yes, when her, her feelings are not really important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's about trying to understand, but who cares? I really think that the reason it's rubbing us the wrong way is because it's like, we don't need to be told this many times. Yeah, I'm trying to think, okay, I'm trying to think about it from the perspective of, I'm going to say, that guy, which I'm going to call the straw man in my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, that guy who's like, why do gay people have to be so gay? Or like, stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm trying to imagine if I was that person playing this game and I was agreeing with the grandma and then slowly figuring it out. Let's be real though, that guy would never play this game. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Like like people I feel like sometimes people make these like really great games with it in mind that they're going to change the minds of the people who you know could use that, that having their minds changed. Mm -hmm. But those people are never going to play these games. You have to like it's like feeding a kid vegetables. You have to, like, slip it into macaroni and cheese so they don't notice. Mm -hmm. Because if you just, like, give them a plate of vegetables, then they're like, oh, it's vegetables. I don't want it. I know that some of the people who watch our videos are, like, don't like social justice warrior things. That's what they say. Yeah. So I'm wondering, anybody watching these who's, like, super hetero and, like, anti-social justice... Super just hetero. Oh you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's, like, you know... Or whatever. Uh, I might regret asking, but how do you feel about Grandma's storyline? Are you 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder. How's that feel? How do you feel about Grandma's storyline where... Uh, yeah, uh, they're showing the other side of they're this. They're showing the other side of this, and and uh, I wonder how you feel. But don't be weird, okay? You know what our rules are, yeah. okay? Don't don't get gross, okay? You will be yelled at. <laughs> he wasn't in travel journalism back then, even though I was angry. I still worried about him. But the thing is interesting is this like okay, so Raphael's mother, my my boyfriend's mother, she's super Catholic and she comes from rural Mexico where like being gay is like what's that? Unheard of, yeah. And she's like totally cool. Yeah. With that. So I don't know, like she took in a kid from her church who whose parents kicked him out. And, like, she took care of him. I mean, I mean, like, she's not, like, totally cool with it, but she's, like, oh, no, like... More cool than you might expect. Yeah, you yeah. know? She's always... She's, like, totally cool with all... Like, a lot of things that you wouldn't expect a strict Catholic to be cool with. Well, you know, some people have... Some people have an attitude of, like, hey, you do you. you yeah, know? I think that's her attitude where she's just, like, uh, I'm going to help people kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of people have the belief that the teachings of the Bible are that, like, you should love all people the way they are. Yeah, maybe you know? that's the way she sees it. Because, like, I know her and she's, like, super Catholic, but she's also really open-minded considering where she ca comes from. So, I don't know. Yeah. So, Grandma, what's your excuse? Hmm? Margarita came from rural Mexico, and she's super Catholic. What's your excuse? This is the slowest moving homophobic old lady in the world. This is what homophobia does to you. It's like the, it's like the whole game is slow moving, you know. I feel like this whole game is in slow motion. The only thing I've learned from this game is that if you're homophobic, you're gonna stay in your shitty garden your whole life and never see the world. Yeah. That's what happens, and you die alone. Yep. That's what happens. That's literally you'll die alone. <laughs> She, I l notice how she never talks about her husband ever. No, she does. When? She's talked about him a couple times. Oh, I didn't care. <laughs> oh. You have the same goddamn plant. Her husband's dead. I know that. Oh, okay. She was saying how he was really nice and how she wished he could have met Will and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Oh, uh. The door rang. Oh, can't. No, nope, I think. Oh, oh, wow. great. Jesus. I was going to answer it, but snagged my foot in the grass and twisted <laughs> my ankle. I don't feel bad. <laughs> I should feel bad because she's a human, but I don't care. It hurt like blazes. And then and nobody came because like you're a, a homophobic bitch. No, maybe she has that little button. You know? Mm -hmm. Let's hope she doesn't. I feel bad because I don't want to like make fun of old people. Because I'm not making making fun of I old people. I couldn't do a thing. The doorbell went again, but it hurt too much to move. I called out for help. Oh, well, at least she's outside where people can hear her. Yeah. I heard someone coming around the side of the house. And it's Will. It's Will, isn't it? He's like, "What up? The gay son's coming to get you, Grandma." How does it, it feel? It was Will. Yeah. Coming to visit me. He'd come back from traveling. Oh, I, f I keep forgetting that she's like closer than most grandmas because she like helped raise him and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, of course, he's gonna keep coming back. I keep forgetting that. I mean, my grandpa. I'd ignored me. him for Whoa. so long. I never made the effort to reach out to him, but he never gave up on me. Oh look, hmm. I hope you have a realization now. He looked after me anyway. Oh, wow. Whoa, okay. whoa. Did you live far away from your grandparents? My grandparents are from Hawaii and California. Uh, and I live in the Midwest, so. Yeah. I saw inside the man he was the same kind boy that I knew. 
so when I was growing up, my grandparents actually lived like three houses down from us. They moved um, from where they had been living um, to like a few houses down from us, and so like we used to go there all the time. Wow, Will buff as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't claim that I'll ever fully be able to approve of some things. But inside, he really always had been the man that I wanted him to be. So what Kind I'm, and strong. What I'm learning I'd here. miss that. Blinded by only one part of him. He was still everything I could have hoped for. Yeah, duh. So Gosh. what you need to do is if... If your grandparents or your parents don't accept you for being gay... Just get jacked and beat them up? Okay, set up an elaborate plan where they get hurt and you depend on... And, de and they have to depend on you. Probably break their legs or a yeah. spinal injury. Then they have to depend on you to take care of them. And then they'll get a sort of Stockholm Syndrome... And then you psychologically abuse them until you trick them into loving you. Yeah, it's like where, um... That's how you, uh, that's how it works. Yeah, like in Adventure Time where they set up that, like, elaborate, like, not elaborate, that fight so that Finn can, like, save the princess. Or no, that the peanut man. He can, like, save the, or almond man? I don't remember. He, so that he can save the princess because she's mad at him and they're like, oh, that's how we'll fix it. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, break your grandma's legs. Yep. Hire somebody else to hit your grandma. And then you can save her, and then you'll be their hero forever. But make sure they are injured so that you have to help them to get better. Yes. If they die, whatever. <laughs> make sure they get injured. Make sure that their kneecaps are broken. Yes. <laughs> like that one skating, the ice skating thing. Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. I watched that documentary and I told you. I, I was on her side you, for a little bit. She's, she's brought it up <laughs> several times to me. She's like, yeah, I could totally see where she was coming from. And I was like, Mari. Okay, there was this documentary on Netflix about her. And they were telling it from her side of the story. And like, I was starting to think like, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe you were right. Maybe you should have broken her fucking kneecaps. That spoiled bitch. <laughs> He was even kind to a fool like me. I'm glad that you're coming to terms that you're a stupid... I'll never forget that. Stupid mean lady. Yeah, but he says, like, I'll never forget that. Oh, God, please! Is he dead? Oh, he probably dead. We're all remembering the tragic gay kid. Ugh. Did he just remember, like, a three-hour sequence as he's making tea? Wow, but can we not go back to her story, please? Never again. Grandma is from a different generation. She loves me, I know that. She just expresses herself really badly sometimes. She's trying hard, though. I should call her later. 